Homeric Greek is the form of the Greek language that was used by Homer in the Iliad and Odyssey and in the Homeric hymns. It is a literary dialect of ancient Greek consisting mainly of Ionic and Aeolic, with a few forms from Arcadocypriot, and a written form influenced by Attic. It was later named Epic Greek because it was used as the language of epic poetry, typically in dactylic hexameter, by poets such as Hesiod and Theognis of Megara. Compositions in Epic Greek may date from as late as the 3rd century AD, though its decline was inevitable with the rise of Koine Greek. Main features In the following description, only forms that differ from those of later Greek are discussed. Omitted forms can usually be predicted from patterns seen in Ionic Greek. Phonology Homeric Greek is like Ionic Greek, and unlike Classical Attic, in shifting almost all cases of longa to eta, thus, Homeric Troi, hor pilisi for Attic Troia, hora pilepali Troy, our, gates, dat. Exceptions include nouns like thea, goddess, and the genitive plural of first declension nouns and the genitive singular of masculine first declension nouns, theonatrate of goddesses, of the son of Atreus. Topic. Nouns First declension The nominative singular of most feminine nouns ends in eta, rather than longa, even after rho, epsilon, and iota an ionic feature, chor for cora. However, thea and some names end in longa. Some masculine nouns have a nominative singular in shorta rather than s, not as Atreides hippota for attic hippotes. The genitive singular of masculine nouns ends in au or eo, rather than o, atreidau for attic atreidu. The genitive plural usually ends in aeon or eon, nymphaeon for attic nymphon. The dative plural almost always end in isi or ice, pilizon for attic pile, second declension. Genitive singular, ends in oyo, as well as o. For example, pedioyo as well as pediu. Genitive and dative dual, ends in oyan. Thus, hippoan appears, rather than hippon. Dative plural, ends in oisi and ois. For example, philoisi as well as philwa. Third declension Accusative singular, ends in in, as well as ida. For example, glaucopan as well as glaucopita. Dative plural, ends in se and c. For example, pedesi or epesi. Homeric Greek lacks the quantitative metathesis present in later Greek. Homeric basileos instead of basileos, polios instead of polios, basilia instead of basilia, basileas instead of basileas, basilian instead of basilian. Homeric Greek sometimes uses different stems, polios instead of polios. Topic. Pronouns Third person plural pronoun. He, she, it. The relative or rarely singular article, the. Ho he to third person plural pronoun, they. The relative or rarely plural article, the. Nominative oi, i toi tai dative twa, toi si tais tais e tais a note on nouns. Sigma and cis alternate in Homeric Greek. This can be of metrical use. For example, tosos and tosos are equivalent, mesos and mesos, posi and posi. The ending phi -phi can be used for the dative singular and plural of nouns and adjectives occasionally for the genitive singular and plural, as well. For example, be phi less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 by force decryophin less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 with tears, and orisfin less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 in the mountains. Topic. Verbs Person endings Nu appears rather than san. For example, aston for astason in the third person plural active. The third plural middle, passive often ends in a tie or auto, for example, hito is equivalent to hento, tenses Future, generally remains uncontracted. For example, areo appears instead of aero or teleo instead of telezo. Present or imperfect, these tenses sometimes take iterative form with the letters ske penultimate with the ending. 
For example, phygeskon they kept on running away Aorist or imperfect, both tenses can occasionally drop their augments. For example, balan may appear instead of a balan, and embale may appear instead of enabale. Homeric Greek does not have a historical present tense, but rather uses injunctives. Injunctives are replaced by the historical present in the post-Homeric writings of Thucydides and Herodotus. Subjunctive The subjunctive appears with a short vowel. Thus, the form iomen, rather than iomen. The second singular middle subjunctive ending appears as both e and e. The third singular active subjunctive ends in c. Thus, we see the form for e c, instead of for a. Occasionally, the subjunctive is used in place of the future and in general remarks. Infinitive The infinitive appears with the endings men, meni and nai, in place of ein and nai. For example, domine for downi, imen instead of ionai, emin emin or emeni for enii, and akuemin i in place of akuen, contracted verbs. In contracted verbs, where Attic employs an omega, Homeric Greek will use u or u in place of au. For example, Attic horantes becomes horuns. Similarly, in places where a contracts to alpha or ai contracts to i, Homeric Greek will show either a or ai. Topic. Adverbs Adverbial suffixes De conveys a sense of to where, polemon to the war Don conveys a sense of how, clangedon with cries Then conveys a sense of from where, hypsothen from above T conveys a sense of where, hypsotheon high Topic. Particles Era r ra so or next transition. Te and a general remark or a connective emphatics. De indeed. E surely. Per just or even. Toy I tell you. Assertion. Topic. Other features. In most circumstances, Homeric Greek did not have available a true definite article. Ho he ton and their inflected forms do occur, but can generally be translated as demonstrative pronouns. Topic. Vocabulary Homer the Iliad and the Odyssey uses about 9,000 words, of which 1,382 are proper names. Of the 7,618 remaining words 2,307 are hopix legomena. Topic. Sample The Iliad, Lines 1-7 Robert Fitzgerald 1974. Topic. See also Ancient Greek dialects Homeric texts Topic. References Topic. Bibliography Farr, Clyde. Homeric Greek, A Book for Beginners. University of Oklahoma Press, Norman, New Edition, 1959. Revised Edition, John Wright, 1985. ISBN 0-8061-1937-3. First Edition of 1920 in Public Domain. Stanford, William Bedell, 1959, 1947. Introduction, Grammatical Introduction. Homer, Odyssey I-12, 1, Second Ed. Macmillan Education Limited. Pp. XLXXXVI. ISBN 1-85399-502-9. Topic. Further reading. Bakker, Egbert J. Ed. 2010. A Companion to the Ancient Greek Language. Oxford, Wiley Blackwell. Christidis, Anastasios Foivos, ed. 2007. A History of Ancient Greek, From the Beginnings to Late Antiquity. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press. Colvin, Stephen C. 2007. A Historical Greek Reader, Mycenaean to the Koine. Oxford, Oxford University Press. Edwards, G. Patrick, 1971. The Language of Hesiod in its Traditional Context. Oxford, Blackwell. 
Hackstein, Olav, 2010. The Greek of Epic. In a Companion to the Ancient Greek Language. Edited by Egbert J. Bakker, 401-23. Oxford, Wiley Blackwell. Horrocks, Geoffrey C. 1987. The Ionian Epic Tradition, Was There an Aeolic Phase in Its Development? Minos 20-22, 269-94 2010. Greek, A History of the Language and Its Speakers. 2nd ed. Oxford, Wiley Blackwell. Janko, Richard, 1982. Homer, Hesiod, and the Hymns, Diachronic Development in Epic Diction. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press. 1992. The Origins and Evolution of the Epic Diction. In the Iliad, A Commentary. Volume 4, Books 13-16. Edited by Richard Janko, 8-19. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press. Lord, Albert B. 1960. The Singer of Tales. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press. Nagy, Gregory, 1995. An Evolutionary Model for the Making of Homeric Poetry, Comparative Perspectives. In the Ages of Homer. Edited by Jane Burr Carter and Sarah Morris, 163-79. Austin, University of Texas Press. Palmer, Leonard R. 1980. The Greek Language. London, Faber and Faber. Perry, Milman, 1971. The Making of Homeric Verse, The Collected Papers of Milman Perry. Edited by Adam Perry. Oxford, Clarendon. West, Martin L. 1988. The Rise of the Greek Epic, Journal of Hellenic Studies 108-151-72.